I recently published a Plenty of Fish case study and on the new Purefly forum I had a few people asking how exactly I was tracking my campaigns using Prosper 202. Uh, it's actually really simple. All you have to do is add a keyword to the end of your link um, like I did in the example here and then on Prosper 202 you can go through and check each keyword and see how many clicks and conversions you've gotten f for that keyword. So what I use is my campaign name uh, from Plenty of Fish or, or Facebook, it doesn't matter. Uh, I use the campaign name as the keyword. So in, in the forum post I showed my a screenshot of my stats um, where the campaign name is the keyword and then on each one it shows clicks and leads. And you can see on my Plenty of Fish account, my Plenty of Fish ads account, uh, my tracking link when I created my my campaign all I did was at the end of my link I added the LC250-2 uh, in this example right here. So then you can see up at the top this campaign is called LC250 and that was the second second version of that uh, ad and then the first version was declined but the second one is actually doing okay it's kind of got a crappy click through rate but it's converting and the way that I know that it's converting is if I load up my Prosper 202 um, you can see here's the my overview for today I'm actually profitable and have a, an okay ROI um, but you can check a breakdown of your keywords that you pass into your Prosper 202 link uh, by going to analyze and then once you're at analyze um, you can run a report for your different um, campaigns and this one loaded up the uh, the uh, lesbian dating campaign by default because that's when I was looking at last so you just uh, set your preferences and here you can see for today that I've gotten six clicks and on that L5, L LC250-2 I've gotten two clicks, one conversion and I'm ROI positive on it. Um, I'm doing even better on the LC250-2 for um, yeah the 150 logins I have a really good ROI uh, but obviously not as much traffic but that would work for any campaign you run um, you'd be able to see a breakdown uh, of each keyword on Prosper 202 so all you have to do is pass it um, as the keyword in your link. It's really simple. Uh, another way that you could do it is you can go to overview, group overview, and then if you're passing the C1, C2, C3 variables, um, you can group by those here as well or the keyword. So there's a little more more options there to, to run a, a report. It's not as, in, as important, but if you're passing those variables, you can do it there too. But feel free to let me know if you have any questions.